Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to go over step three of the 12 step copywriting formula, which is provide the solution. So this says, now that you've built your reader's interest by making them feel the pain, it's time to provide the solution. This is the part of the sales letter where you boldly stake your claim that you can solve the reader's problem. So the moment everything changed. Then one day, one day I was, got a message from my friend, John. John had seen some of the videos that I'd made on my YouTube channel about Pygum Bot. Those of you don't know, Pygum Bot is a contact form submitter that I use to great effect to help build my social media management business from the ground up. I knew that software like the back of my hand and made dozens of videos published dozens of tutorials on how to use it. So John and I had been talking about scaling up my operation with PygumPot. He was a systems administrator with multiple VPS virtual private servers and could set up multiple several instances of the bot to scrape harvest data which I would then use to create contact form campaigns. Our idea was to create a lead generation business and sell leads to anybody who needed them. When John called me, he told me during this specific call, John mentioned to me that he wanted me to meet his friend Bill. He told me about Bill before, mentioning that he had worked in the cell phone industry and had access to incredible software that was not available to the public. Curious set up a call with Bill and John and proceeded to have my mind absolutely blown. Turns out Bill had acquired a big data license without he had technology that could identify users visited a site without acquiring an opt-in. Let that sink in for a second. Normally with um, uh, right with um, lead generation and sales funnels, you need the user all this work uh, to fill out their details in an opt-in form before you can contact them. Do all this work to get them to your website. Pay 
pay for ads. Solo ads. You write blog, write articles, make videos, sell your damn soul to get them to your website. Then what do those stupid customers do? They don't even fill out your damn lead capture form. Unbelievable. But with bills, technology, none of that would be necessary. All I would need to do would be to drive traffic to the site, bill, pixel to the site, drive traffic through whatever means necessary, and then take the data load the data into either auto responder campaign or a custom audience on Facebook. So on this call, my eyes nearly popped out of my head. And if you are a struggling ClickFunnels affiliate, who knows anything about what I've how difficult it is to generate leads and get traffic then you can appreciate the solution that Bill was providing. Now to be honest, using this technology for Quick funnels affiliate it's seems seems a little short sighted. Affiliates signups only pay forty twenty a month. Whereas I could be selling my own services, high-end coaching, for example, for five to ten times that amount. But I had it in my head that I wanted to win that damn dream car. And, but more, I had other reasons for wanting seed two. Probably shouldn't say this, but I know one of the most famous click funnels affiliates out there personally. I knew this affiliate before they made it big. And I, to be honest, I thought they were one of the stupidest people I had ever met. Then fast forward a few years later and got into ClickFunnels and here I see that they actually made their dreams come true. had my reasons for wanting to succeed with ClickFunnels. Are they honest? Good reasons? Maybe. But they were powerful enough to make, motivate me to do what I did. 
All right, so anyway, that's a little dramatic, but um, you get the idea. Now, this is <laughs> way longer than I planned it on being, um, but they say that long copy outsells short copy. So keep that in mind. You know, don't be afraid to write a lot because, like, you know, like I have a blog and I've noticed that, like, you know, and I write very long articles. Like, my articles are like 5,000 words minimum. And I have a lot of people who, you know, there's a difference between like writing something that's like 300 words or like a tweet that's like good, but like honestly, how much can you say in a tweet or in like a 300 word article or 500 word article? You can say so much more in more words, right? You just have to learn how to like say it in a way that gets people, um, like every, every sentence needs to kind of get them to want to read the next sentence, if that makes sense. So again, this is just a first draft and I haven't really like gone over this. You definitely should, right? And I will before I actually publish this and turn this into a live funnel. But just keep in mind that, um, you know, they say good writing is rewriting, all right? So that is number three. Cool, here we go, number four.